how are we gonna bring all the stakeholders together around the table to make this happen? Well, again, I know that the city has run a series of workshops and that's exactly what our workshop is about, to make sure that all of those perspectives are brought to the table, balanced uh, around a clear vision for really important walkable neighborhoods. I think a huge amount of what um, has been talked about is the need to have mixed uses at enough intensity to create the energy we're looking for. Also to be able to bring investment in the quality of really beautiful walkable streets which contribute to health, all of the things connected. Yeah. Uh, Mark, do you envision, you know, some of the famous European cities that have those revitalized downtown cores with integrated rapid transit? Absolutely, and I, and I think that's, that's part of the learning. And, and Nick, on all of these things, I think everything begins, what can you imagine? Yeah. You know, that's the most mm -hmm. powerful thing I think that we have is what do we imagine? And when one begins to imagine, you don't have to go very far because the European cities, the uh, cities of Portland, uh, they've proven a lot of this already. We don't have to make it all up. Mm -hmm. So I think if we spend a bit of time I'm just learning what's out there and then imagining what can be unique to Hamilton, yeah. uh, we have a great opportunity. Yeah. Gord, let's flash forward a little bit. Assuming all this happens and everything is A-OK -okay and we're happy, what would it mean for McMaster University and their position in terms of global educational institutions? Uh, like Mark's uh, comment about imagining. So let's imagine a future where um, you know students, faculty and staff and researchers can can get across the city from, from campus to the Innovation Park and into the downtown core yeah. in a matter of moments yeah. on a regularly scheduled basis. Let's think about a community where uh, the best and brightest students have popped the bubble of the campus and are now living right. and, and working and engaging with the community and serving the community in ways that can't happen now because we're cloistered in, into campus. So uh, to me, I see this as a, as a real uh, re-engineering and reimagining of, uh, of McMaster in the city. Yeah. I don't think imagination is the issue. I mean, we've seen many examples around the world. We have an opportunity ahead of us right now with the government deciding how they're going to invest. It really boils down to us turning all this imagination into action, doesn't it? Absolutely. Yeah.